Hi, in this short video tutorial, I will show you a few tricks about Red Bros. Click the plus icon in the policy screen. Since our policy screen is empty, there will be a big plus icon in the middle. We'll select the web role and enter a name. We will select enable notifications and enable email notifications. Email notifications will notify us when incident related with the rule occurs. We also need to enter a description for our rule because when we have lots of rules, uh, things can easily mix up. Here is our new web rule. You can see the channels, source, destination and information type columns in the rule and I click the rule to expand it. I'll select all sources in the predefined sources uh, and I drag and drop the all sources to source section of the rule. Then I'll select the all domains destination and drag it to the destinations column. Then I'll set the pre predefined credit card numbers information type and drop it to the information type column. And I, then I'll select the quarantine action. This rule will eff affect all credit card numbers uh, coming from all sources and going to all domains and all web requests matching these uh, constraints will be quarantined. Now I'll uh, change my browser's proxy setting to use my DLP. In usual scenario, you don't have to do this because there is lots of uh, web integration options for MyDLP. But we need to do a quick demonstration. So I change my uh, browser's proxy setting to MyDLP and enter MyDLP service IP address as proxy. Then I'm using uh, my Gmail account's uh, web interface to send an email uh, with an attachment. Although I'm using uh, Gmail to send mails, this is a usual uh, web request for my DLP. I'm opening a file and uh, as you can see, in the middle of the lots of text, there is an example credit card number. Then I try to attach that file. I browse the file and try to open it to attach. As you can see, attachment failed. This is due to my DLP protection. My DLP uh, blocked the request and prevent it. You can also see it in the lock screen. Since this is a quarantine action, you can also download the original file. This is the file in the web request, which is exactly the same as the file that we tried to upload. You can also use user-defined users, uh, Active Directory users, if you have all, if you already integrated your Active Directory domain with MyDLP. I'll search for the user named Kevin by clicking Check User and select the user found. Click save button and I save the uh, Kevin in Active Directory as Active Directory user uh, under user defined. And I drag and drop the uh, Active Directory user object to sources. Then I'll create a, a domain object, user defined domain object to uh, and it will uh, show all domains uh, of Google. Now I'll drag and drop to uh, Google domain object. This rule will quarantine uh, all requests including credit card number uh, from Active Directory user, actually he, he was Kevin, uh, to Google. I can change the action. It can be pass, block, log, Quarantine or Archive.
Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Check out my DLP YouTube channel for other tutorials.